Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with Chicken Police on iOS, and I'm going to pick up where I left off. Enjoy! Well, here we are. The kingdom of long legs, silky skin, and fluttering lashes. We've arrived. Calm down, Marty. Watch your blood pressure. She's what I call an exotic beauty. Well, that's one way to put it. Hey, every animal's the most beautiful thing in the world to someone. Yeah, you're right. Oof, I don't know about you, but I go weak in the knees for stripes. Please, Marty, I don't want to know. And I don't care. Keep it to yourself. And let's get out of here quickly. Can't I even talk to you anymore? You can. Ask about the weather, or how's my lower back. Those two are even connected, if you want to know. Yeah, old fart. Excuse me, gentlemen. Would you be so kind as to help me? With pleasure, ma'am. The zipper always comes down on my dress. Would you kindly zip it back up? Can I, Sonny? What am I, your mother? Do what you want, for God's sake. Happy to help, ma'am. Oh, what a gallant young man. Clucking lords. That was weird. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I try again? I will be, ma'am. I don't understand. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Can I try again? If you'd really like to. Please be more careful this time. I will be, ma'am. This is very strange and puzzle. Thank you, honey. Mark. Thank you, darling. Oh, thank you, honey. Marty, ma'am. Marty McChicken. Thank you, darling Marty. I'm much obliged. Anytime, ma'am. Anytime. What a weird, random puzzle. May I invite you gentlemen for a drink, perhaps? No, thank you. We're in a hurry. Oh. Beauty is relative. These brides are elegant, just like Laszlo said. Lewis, what do you think could be the old rabbit's type? Fluffy tails, furry ears, a raspy tongue? Oh, for the love of all the gods, stop it. But just think about it. Please shut up, Marty. Gee, that guy's stare gives me the creeps. Eh, uh, I can see why. I've always told myself that birds are weird. What did you just say? Huh? What? Me? Nothing. I think she must be the receptionist. Bravo, Mr. Detective. Why'd you have to be like that all the time? Well, sometimes I seriously can't decide if you've become totally stupid over the years or it just entertains you to act that way. Well, you know, that's a good question. That's exactly what I mean. My name is day Knight Diamond. Welcome to the Sweltering Nile, gentlemen. Miss Diamond, I'm Sonny, and this is my partner, Marty. If I may, miss, you have a beautiful name and exceptionally wonderful stripes. Marty, not now. Oh, thank you very much. Please excuse him. He doesn't visit places like this very often. Uh, me neither, uh, to be honest. Oh, nothing to worry about, gentlemen. There's a first time for everyone. You're absolutely right. We're just interested in a certain lady called Deborah. Deborah, 
We don't have any employees by that name right now, but if you want, any of our girls would love to be Deborah for a night. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, excuse me, you misunderstand. Uh, she doesn't work here. I'm afraid I don't follow. It's kind of confusing, but let me try to explain. Please, I'm at your service. I'll gladly answer any of your questions. You hear that, Sonny? Any questions? Shut up, Marty. It's evident you're from the police, even without this. Is it that obvious? No, it isn't, but, you know, here in the Nile, we have a keen eye for this kind of thing. Right. I understand, ma'am. Do you know a gentleman named Louis C. Hayworth? Of course I do. Mr. Hayworth is a regular guest at our establishment. I see. Uh, how regular, if I may ask? I can't give you any information about that. House policy. We have that too. It's called the law, ma'am. Mm. If you have any questions of that nature, please come back with a warrant. Ah, touche. Does this list mean anything to you? This? I'm not sure. No, nothing. Don't you see some familiar names on there? I do, but everybody knows those animals. Personally, I have no contact with any of them. I see. Oh, thank you. Look, she gave this to us. The girl named Deborah, the one we uh, asked you about. I see. Do you know what this is? Of course. It's a membership card. Was this person a regular here? If this belonged to her, then yes. I can check for you. Please, the ladies will entertain you while you wait. I'll be right back. Uh, thank you. I'm much obliged. Mm. Holy fur. You swallowed so hard, the whole place shook. Are you kidding me? I've never seen anything like this before. Is this even legal? Why wouldn't it be? I, I don't know. Vice? You really must be joking. Vice? In Clawville? Uh, okay, okay, I was pulling her leg. But still, it's a little hot in here. Well, cool down, Marty. Don't even look over there. Remember Laura, your wonderful girlfriend, whom you love more than anything. You don't need to tell me. All I'm thinking about is her. With a hatchet in her hand? More like my nuggets. <laughs> That's... <laughs> uh. <laughs> Laura, 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 Laura. That's it, Marty. Just slowly turn away from the pictures. Laura, 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 Laura. That's it, Marty. Just slowly turn away from the pictures. woman. She's familiar. Do you think it's her? The broad from the Bloody New Year's? God damn it, Marty. Do you have to say it out loud? It gives me goosebumps. Chicken bumps more like. Anyway, I don't know if it's really her. I always get confused by the exotic ones, but yeah, maybe. Honestly, it gives me the creeps. Yeah, me too.
beauty is relative. How young is this girl? Damn. This place is clucked up. Do you think they're forced to do this? Marty, we're not here for that. Just for the information we need. Yeah, but you know what, Sonny? We're fortunate to be able to choose what we do with our lives, huh? You are, Marty. You have the chance to work with Santino Featherland. Me, on the other hand. Ah-ha. Uh -huh. Whoa. I... I don't even know... Good gods! Hey, keep it down, Marty. I see it now. Of all that's furry. Yes, it's very furry. Or more like, uh, shaggy. Invite you gentlemen for a drink, perhaps? No, thank you. We're in a hurry. Oh. Who am I supposed to talk to at this point? I apologize for the wait. Please, come with me, gentlemen. So you were successful? My mistress, Madame Savas, would like to meet you. You mean that, Madame Savas? As far as I know, there's only one of her, so... yes. Please, miss, take us to her. With pleasure. Madame Zavas was a legend in Clawville. Her name was known all over the wilderness. She's an avid royalist, former member of the Council of Twelve, spy master, assassin, businesswoman, and courtesan. To be honest, I didn't even know she was still alive. She's no spring chicken, that's for sure. She could also be my mother, or maybe my grandmother. First Ibn Wessler, now her. Honestly, tonight it wouldn't surprise me if His Majesty Hector III didn't grace me with his presence. the legendary Madame Zavas. Let me introduce myself properly, ma'am. Mr. Zadino, I know who you are. And I also know your partner. The legend of the chicken police is always one step ahead of the chicken police. Uh, thank you. That's flattering. Hmm. May I ask what you are looking for exactly? Here, on this night? You know, that's an interesting question. The card we've shown your lovely colleague... ...belongs to an old friend of ours, whom we haven't seen for a long time here. And the name? Unfortunately, no, Mr. Santino. That's confidential information. In my line of work, discretion is everything. Well, you know, in our line of work... The law is above everything. Oh, do you think so? I could tell you what your colleagues think is also above everything. But, as I said, discretion. Look, ma'am, we don't want to impose. We're conducting a private investigation, which started off as harmless. But now, it's murder. That sounds serious. It is serious. That's why we'd be grateful for your help. In that case, I'm at your service. Ask your questions, and I'm going to answer to the best of my knowledge. As long as you're not wading through muddy waters. Fortunately, I swim very well for a chicken. I swim well, too. As I was saying, it belongs to us. Only our most valuable guests have one of these. 
and our employees, of course. The employees, too. Good to know. Can you tell me if this card belonged to a guest or an employee? No. I thought so. Yes, thank you. Lewis Hayworth is a good friend of mine. It uh, surprises me that he's a regular here. You wouldn't believe our clientele. You would be shocked. No doubt. Lewis, uh, does he come here often? Mm, not so often. Thank you for the vague answer, ma'am. The mystery is thrilling. The thrill is life itself. That was beautiful, ma'am. Tell me, have you ever seen this list? I have. Am I right to assume it has something to do with the sweltering Nile? It does, yes. But I can't tell you more about it. No. Discretion is key. Absolutely. Oh. Do you know Natasha Katsenko personally? Yes, I do. Tell me about her. Warm-hearted, protective, quick-tempered, fierce. Yes, fierce. Thank you. Very useful. This place isn't just our home with the girls. It's a sanctuary. Really? How? It symbolizes why the city was founded almost a thousand years ago. Unity, love, freedom. Interbreeding? That too, yes. Do you have a problem with that? Oh, don't get me wrong. I don't. My girlfriend's a predator. Really? I'm glad to hear it. So, gentlemen, what do you want to know? Let's see. Is that the time already? Have you noticed your clock's not working? How observant you are. That clock isn't meant to show the time, it's a decoration. A memento. It's beautiful. Indeed. Interesting pieces. Do you think so? It's the art of my people. Uh, crocodiles? There are many kinds of crocodile in the wilderness, Mr. Featherland. This is the art of the Nylonites. Ah, hence the name, the Sweltering Nile. It's a river, Mr. Featherland. My ancestors lived by this river a long time ago. Ah. Interesting. Thank you. What a painting. Congratulations, ma'am. Marty. Yes. It's beautiful indeed. <laughs> it's more than 40 years old. You know, I was considered pretty then. Oh, don't say that. You still look great, ma'am. Thank you. It feels good, but no. There's no need for lies. Those days are long gone. Every age has its truth and its beauty. For me, beauty is not in the looks anymore. I agree, ma'am. There are books here on quite a variety of topics. There are books here on quite a variety of topics. Deceit is everything to save us. She used to be a spy, so I'm gonna take her every word with a grain of salt. Who's behind the legend, Miss Zavas? 
Who are you, really? Just an animal raised to survive, Mr. Featherland. And because I've been taught, I know how to survive. I always was what I had to be. And you managed to dodge my question. Clever. Well, you see, this is one of the typical elements of survival. The way of dodging a delicate question and still making the questioner believe he got the answer. <laughs> but you're too cunning and experienced, aren't you? <laughs> you're not an easy one to fool. I'm trying to maintain appearances, ma'am. You should. Appearances, most of the time, are stronger and more dangerous than the truth. Tell me, were you really the king's spy? If that's such an open secret, then I haven't been doing my job very well, isn't that right? <laughs> yes, I was a spy. But that's such a blunt way of putting it. I always say I used to undertake confidential, generally political assignments of a delicate nature for the king that were in the interests of national security. Put that way, it sounds rather romantic. Don't believe the cheap fiction, Mr. Featherland. Espionage is anything but romantic. I believe you, madam. If you must know, I only did it because I believed I could protect those that I serve. Weapons have only one use in this world. To keep the peace. Yes. I always thought about myself and my craft that way. Thank you for your honesty, ma'am. Oh, nice. Hmm. What is the sweltering Nile? Is it really just a luxury brothel? First of all, it's what it looks like. Luxurious relaxation with the luxurious ladies and gentlemen. For wealthy ladies and gentlemen with luxurious needs. And under the surface? If you're insinuating that my girls are kind of spies, you're on the wrong track. On a very wrong track, to be precise. Don't they have confidential information on almost all the wealthy bachelors of Clavio? Bachelors? <laughs> Don't be naive. Almost exclusively married men visit here. Well, then my question is even more valid. Of course, they know much. Many visit here who don't care about sex, Mr. Featherland. Some come here to talk. And meanwhile, they inadvertently say a lot about themselves. Which makes them easy targets for blackmail, right? It could, yes, but even the assumption is offensive. No! Uh -oh. If I guess who the card belongs to, will you tell me? I wouldn't say that's an acceptable price for such a secret as this, but... If you guess right, I won't lie to you. Then, I will tell you you were right. Yes. Good. Let's see. The answer to my question, Natasha Katsenko. Well, Mr. Featherland, it seems the gossip about you is right. What gave it away? It couldn't have been easier. There's a beautiful woman with a mysterious past, trying to keep it a secret, while someone's threatening her with the exact same thing, leaving rather unmistakable messages behind. Plus, we found the card on Deborah, who was her best friend and confidant. So she was either trying to hide it or destroy it forever, so no one could find out the truth. Am I right so far? Indeed, Mr. Featherland. So if I'm not mistaken, Natasha used to work for you before she met Ibn Wessler. He fell in love with her, gave her a job at the Millions Club. The rest is history. You have talent, Mr. Featherland. I'm really sorry you're not working for the government. I am working for the government. I'm a cop. Are you sure, Mr. Featherland? Touché. Indeed. 
Natasha used to work here. We can put it that way, but you know, this isn't just the workplace. She also lived here. She was part of our family. And we still love her very much. Right. That puts everything in a different light. Savas is a true survivor, always was. And she's proud of that, even to this day. Maybe I can get her to trust me if I play to this part of her. Why did you take her in? Maybe you saw yourself in Natasha. She was only 17 when she knocked on the rear entrance of the brothel on an unusually cold, rainy night. I opened the door myself. Was Natasha alone? Yes, completely alone. Her left arm was slashed with an ugly wound and she was frozen to the bone, barefoot, only a thin nightgown on her. Did she tell you what happened to her? After I brought her into the house, warmed her up, and changed her into new clothes, that was the first thing I asked. But no, she didn't tell me. We became very good friends. But I still don't know what happened to her and where she came from. Or how she knew about this place and the rear entrance. And you weren't bothered by all those secrets? That would have been very hypocritical of me, don't you think? No. It didn't bother me. I make a living out of secrets, Mr. Featherland. I see. Do you know where Natasha came from before Clawville? Naturally. The poor dear couldn't even deny it. Even her name's eloquent, her accent, but mostly her manners, Mr. Featherland. She's from Stovos, and she belonged to the upper class of Stavonian social circles. She could barely even speak the language when I first met her. That's all you know about her. An ex-spy like you must have checked up on her new protege's past. That's the most exciting thing. Yes, I have. Multiple times putting my most treasured connections to good use. But nobody found anything. Natasha's trail could only be traced back to the Stavonian border. What happened in that country, no one knows. It's rather curious, don't you think? It is, Mr. Featherland, yes, curious. That's why I've always been rather fond of Natasha. Did it touch you deeply when she left you? Indeed, it did. Zavos is protective. It seems she's dedicating her whole life to her protégés. If I concentrate on that, maybe she'll open up to me. Have you kept in touch? Only occasionally, Mr. Featherland. She writes to me every few weeks. And very rarely we talk on the phone. But I haven't heard from her in weeks. The truth is I've started to worry about her. Did she give no sign of being in trouble? Never. No. Natasha's not the kind to talk about her feelings. Yeah, I've noticed that myself. When was the last time you saw her, Madame Zavas? Maybe around two months ago. There was a ball, attended by Ibn Wessler, his beautiful mate Natasha, and myself. Yes. Was she herself? Did you feel like she was afraid or worried about something? On the contrary, she was unrestrained, free, radiant. She was in love. Yes in her own unique way. What do you mean? You know Natasha loves on a different level than most Clawville women. Or most women in the wilderness, in fact. Maybe it's because of the Stovonian origins. Perhaps it's something else. So you didn't notice anything strange about her? Well, if
if anything could be called strange, it was that I saw a woman positively floating above the ground, who previously used to stand on it with two feet. I see. Thank you, madam. How did you feel when you learned Natasha was going to leave? Honestly, I was very hurt. I loved her as a daughter. How would you have felt? I couldn't say. And I still couldn't stop her, and you know why? Of course I do, because you loved her. You've been in my shoes before, am I right, Detective? Yes, I can feel you have. This isn't about me, madam. Please stop changing the subject. I have felt betrayed on a certain level. Yes, and offended, and alone. Even amongst all my friends. Were you disappointed in her? Only in myself, Mr. Featherland. But I have a hunch you know this feeling very well. Yes, you're right. Well, thank you for your time, madam. Anytime, detective. Yes, anytime. I didn't realize I did so well. Please, gentlemen, wait here a moment. I would like to show you something that could help you. Oh, that's excellent news. Thank you. We will wait. Do you trust her? Not in the slightest. Even her smile is fake. This woman wallowed in other animals' secrets until she became one, too. That's exactly how I feel. Anyway, now that we're here, we can take a better look around. Just what I was thinking. These books are here for a reason. They mean something. These books are here for a reason. They mean something. Okay. These books are here for a reason. They mean something. These books are here for a reason. They mean something. These books are here for a reason. They mean something. Beautiful pieces for sure. They must be worth a fortune. Seven pieces in my mind, 49 years, so maybe 749. Hidden door. Who'd have thought? She is a legendary ex-spy. Well, this is something I've never understood. Why isn't a key good enough? I mean, you can take that with you, but riddles can be solved by anyone. I don't think many animals get to be in this room, Marty. And the other thing is, maybe she wanted us to find it. Exactly what I'm thinking. Who knows? Anyway, we're going in. This room is not like her at all. The other must have been for show. Marty, this is the reality. We're talking about a professional spy. A former spy. Still, if anyone knows how to mask her real face, it's her. Well, you think this is who she really is? Cold, dark, and tiny. And full of secrets. So the rumors are true. Military intelligence. This dame's really something. I'm starting to think the whole brothel is just a cover. Ah, uh, makes sense. You think she's still working for royal intelligence? Well, based on what she told us, she's a committed royalist. So I imagine she does. Hector the Third. 
our great and fair king. I feel sorry for the poor fox, to be honest. I don't. He has it pretty good. Would you like to live your life as a puppet? Everything you do, carefully planned. Your rule and authority, the whole thing, just for show. Even if he is just a puppet, Clawville needs a king. He gives strength and hope to many animals. Huh. I guess. Why do they need a king? This has got to be it, Marty. Look at the missing page. Oh, gods. And look at the names. Yeah, the ladies and their guests. Damn. What this means, Marty, is that the most influential people in the city had been Natasha's patrons. Some even from the royal family. This book could destabilize Clawville. At least the Clawville we currently know. You think this is behind everything? Somebody's blackmailing Natasha because of this? That could easily be the case. But something still doesn't fit. That piece of a painting. Sonny? If there's even a small chance of... Sonny! What? There's another familiar name here. What are you talking about? Fucking hell, Sonny. Molly? She was working here too. Uh, it's probably someone else with the same name. So that's why Natasha told me they'd known each other for a long time. Look, boss. I can't believe it. All those stories about her past. Listen, boss bird. Molly loved you, right? Isn't that what matters? Marty, please shut your fucking beak right now, or I'll shut it for you. Okay, boss. I'm sorry, but... Just shut the cluck up. We've caught them sneaking around, Miss Diamond, you see? I see, madam. No, oh, back off, ladies. There's no need for this. We don't want trouble. No, maybe you don't. Unfortunately, trouble has found you, gentlemen. Madam Zavos, we needed to know the connection. What this place has to do with Natasha. And... And? And my wife. Filthy cops? He's talking gibberish. May I shoot him? No, not yet, Miss Diamond. I'd be very sorry to put holes in your lovely striped skin, but believe me, baby, I will. I've always wanted to know if diamonds are bulletproof. Please, madam? It'll all be over in a second. No. We have received different orders, Miss Diamond. Stand down. Oh, I see. The pony does tricks on command. Well, I'm not surprised. That's enough, Marty. You knew who she was, didn't you? What she meant to me. Well, well, Mr. Featherland. Aren't you interested in your case anymore? No? All it took was a name from your past, and your professionalism drowned in the mud. Stop playing games with me, Zavos. What does all this have to do with Molly? Nothing at all. No, she was just a little bird among the many who sought refuge here. You forced her into this! You'd love to hear that, but until she met you, she was one of us. Just another... 
You clucking... Sonny, no! Uh-oh. I think I was dreaming. But it wasn't the kind of dream you'd want to remember. Dark and painful. Then, the suffocating smoke woke me. It wasn't fried eggs, that's for sure. Where was I? What happened? That treacherous crocodile. Then I saw Marty, who looked as horrible as I felt. Well, I've always wanted a romantic sea voyage. God damn it. I knew I shouldn't have gone along with this. Marty, I told you you could get out any time. <laughs> and you knew damn well that I wouldn't. That I would never leave you in deep shit once I've joined you. You knew it, and you still asked me to do it. Marty, listen. You're a selfish bastard, Sonny. And you drag everyone around you down with you. How long was it till retirement? 120 days? 121. But you just couldn't sit still on your ass, could you? Well, take a good look around, boss bird. This is you. And this is what follows you. Just this clucking misery. And dead bodies. Do you understand? You have nothing else to offer but suffering. Marty. And feeling sorry for yourself. Oh, you're great at that. I can't believe this shit. We're gonna die here on a goddamn blazing ship like roast chicken. Well, it's dramatic at least, just like you like it. Marty. What? I've almost managed to untie the knot. But if you keep thrashing around like that, we're really gonna die here. Ah, for cluck's sake. Fine. Work your magic. Until then, I'm gonna say all the prayers I know. You better. Uh... Is this for real? Oh my god, for real? What? Why is it like this? Okay, what is happening? I can't do this. I'm getting annoyed. This is very annoying. You know what? I don't know what the hell. I don't know why I keep losing it. Really stupid and annoying. I'm probably gonna just stop playing at this point. This is very dumb. Okay, I don't know what happens. I lose it. I I'm tracing the same path and I'm losing it. I don't get it. Okay. What do you want from me? Why is there even a timer on this stupid thing? Okay, I can't. Um, this is very annoying. I'm just gonna take a break. I I played something like this in another game, and it was the worst puzzle ever. I don't know why any. I don't know why anyone would use this.
I'm just gonna take a break. Um, that's Chicken Police. Check it out. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.